हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक इन जावास्क्रिप्ट कॉल्ड इज क्लोजर्स इन जावास्क्रिप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लोजर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर वर्किंग विद जावास्क्रिप्ट स्पेशली फंक्शनल प्रोग्रामिंग बिफोर वी बिगिन लेट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लोजर्स इन जावास्क्रिप्ट अ क्लोजर इज वेन अ फंक्शन रिमेंबर्स इट्स लेक्सिकल स्कोप इवन वेन द फंक्शन इज एग्जीक्यूटेड आउटसाइड दैट स्कोप साउंड कन्फ्यूजिंग राइट so we will start with a basic example so here i have a function and that function i have define a variable called count now this function returns a function which returns count plus plus now what happens that if we call this function here uh, so this returns this function into this variable so now this variable contains this function now when i am calling this variable as a function just because we have a function here so we can call it as a function so what is happening here that it's return count plus plus so now if i call no no script dot js you can see that i am getting 0 1 2 3 so what is happening here this function has been exec executed on line number 13 but on line number 15 16 17 and 18 this function which was executed way before still got access to its lexical scope variable called as count now let's see one more practical use case for now uh, for this i am changing its name to private counter i have a variable called count now what is this function is returning is an object with a key called increment and increment is actually a function which will return plus plus count okay same there will be another key called decrement and uh, decrement and it will be minus minus so now this will be counter and now this will be counter dot increment and uh, counter dot increment counter dot increment and counter dot decrement i will save the file i will run the file and now you can see the increment increments uh, the count goes to 1 Two, three. Then uh, we call that decrement, and the same count goes to two. So in this example, we use the curry. We use the closure to get the functionality of encapsulation. What we did is that we did not give the user direct access of the count variable, but we exposes two function to the user, and user can use those function to change the to to change the count variable. but the user did not get direct access to the count so it this is one of the most practical example of closure now we all know that how closures are important in functional programming they help us to implement oops they help us to memorize they help us to implement cutting so now we are going to more practical example of closure and you can see that there in this example we have an array of listeners and this function is returning these two listeners these two functions and an object and in that object we have these two functions so the first function is taking a callback function as an input and is just saving that into this array and the second function is looping that that array and calling each and every function so now we have registered these two functions and now we are calling it using line number 23 so if i run this code you can see that the event 1 is fired and event 2 is fired so we create a custom event manager that handles multiple event listeners efficiently closures make this possible by preserving the listeners array across the function calls and now there you have it you have unlocked the secret of closures in javascript they allow you to write more expressive efficient and modular code Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of closure. Remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our future JavaScript adventure. Happy coding.